Welcome to the weekly update. Elo's vitamins are back in stock. I wanted to say that and get that out of the way. We got a lot of cool things for you in this video, especially Hayden with all the new corals that have come in. And we also have two new additions to Fishy Business that want to introduce themselves to you. So hang around, this is gonna be a good video. Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly update. Uh, my name is Reagan. I'm the fish manager here, the saltwater fish manager here. So I'm gonna be pointing out some fish later. But first, we do want to introduce you to a couple new faces that we have here at Fishy Business. So first up is going to be Chad. Hi there, uh, my name's Chad. Uh, I'm so excited to start here at Fishy Business. Uh, I have a huge passion for aquariums, especially some of the planted tanks out there. Uh, and I'm just really looking forward to the opportunity to help serve the customers and learn more about all the awesome fish that we have here at Fishy Business. So stop on in and make sure that you say hello to our newbie, Chad. Um, and if you need anything, just let us know. Our second new face that you're going to be seeing around Fishy Business is Diana. Hello, I'm Diana. Um, I've been keeping fish since I was about six. I had a goldfish for 12 years, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm really excited to be working here. I'm ready to learn. Uh, and just, yeah, I like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so those are our two new faces. Make sure that you do come in and say hello. And if you need anything, again, make sure that you do ask them because they are very knowledgeable. All right, guys, so I haven't had a naso tang in a while, and I got in a little baby naso. This is a regular naso, as his top dorsal fin is black. Your naso tangs are deemed reef compatible and reef safe, as they will not usually go after any of your coral, your inverts either. Tangs do need seaweed a couple times a week as they are omnivores and need meat and algae as a part of their diets. And naso tangs do get fairly large, but they are a very peaceful tang and they fit well in pretty much any type of aquarium, whether it be reef tank or fowler tank, and they can go in with most other fish as long as they are more on the peaceful side as well. So this is a long nose hawkfish. They get that name long nose from that long nose out in the front of their faces. These guys have a beautiful pattern on their body and a stunning blue eye. Now hawkfish, like I always say, don't have swim bladders, which is why you see them just perching on the rocks on the side of your tank and along the bottom. Hawkfish are carnivores, so meaty foods for them, and they do have the potential to eat some of your inverts, like your crab snails and shrimp. These guys don't get very large though, so if you have larger snails, crabs, and shrimp, these guys shouldn't um, be able to eat those, but if you've got any tiny ones, they might go after those as a snack. But overall, your hawkfish don't add a big bio load to your tank and are a great little filler fish. So you know that I'm always not the biggest fan of damsels, but I did get in these super cool Springer Eye damsels. They are super beautiful with that really nice cobalt blue color and the electric blue right on their face and under their eyes. Just look at the pattern in these fish. These Springer Eye Damsels are very hardy. Um, damsels are hardy in general, but these guys are exceptionally hardy. They will add a lot of color to your tank. They are more of the semi-aggressive damsel. They're not as peaceful as your yellow tails um, or your blue fins, but they're not gonna be as mean um, as some of your other ones like your Starkies and your blue Fijis and things like that. Um, your Springer Eye Damsels, like I said, add a bunch of color. And they would be a great filler fish if you have some larger, more semi-aggressive fish as well. So this guy came in this morning, so he is still acclimating a little bit, but this is a yellow banded possum wrasse. So your possum wrasses are a dwarf wrasse. They are small, they don't get very big. This guy is the biggest yellow banded possum wrasse I have ever seen personally, and it's definitely the biggest one that I've been able to get in. So he's not gonna get any bigger than this. They have that beautiful plum color with the yellow stripes, the red eye, and that really nice black eye spot on their top dorsal. These guys are extremely peaceful and only need to go in tanks with other extremely peaceful fish as well. These guys are carnivores, so small mice shrimp and brine shrimp is gonna be perfect for him. And he does, or he should be the only wrasse in the tank just because he is so much smaller than some of your other wrasses. So I usually don't show inverts in my weekly update, but this arrow crab was just showing off too perfectly right here in the front. So arrow crabs are phenomenal at eating bristle worms. So if you see any bristle worms in your tank, it's definitely time to come and pick up an arrow crab because they are going to demolish that population. 
So this adorable little fella on the bottom is a lantern basilet. Basilets um, hold a near and dear spot to my heart, especially the dwarf ones like this lantern. These guys have stunning colors and stunning patterns, so much activity and so much personality. These guys really are gonna hang out more on the bottom around the rocks. They don't add a big bio load to your tank. And they are, just, look how cute he is. These guys are carnivores, so mysa shrimp, brine shrimp. They do have the potential of eating some of your smaller inverts, crab snails and shrimp because they are a basslet and that's just a normal part of their diet. But for the most part, as long as you keep these guys well fed, they're gonna leave those inverts alone. So this is a striking Mata tank. Oh my goodness, look at his tail. That white tail with the beautiful yellow and black highlights on the end. Mata tanks are a wonderful tank to add to a reef tank. They get along with most of everything else. They can sometimes be a little pushy, but I would not necessarily call them aggressive by any means. This is one of the prettiest Mata tanks that I have ever been able to get into the store. Algae a couple times a week is again, tanks are omnivores, but this is again, the most striking Mata tank I've been able to get into the store. So now is the absolute perfect time to add a wonderful reef safe tank to your reef aquarium. Hey, it's Kevin. I've got a bunch of things to show you so far as freshwater fish goes this week, but also I want to point out to you, we've got some awesome deals on some freshwater starter kits. We've got 10 gallons, we've got 20 gallons, we've got 29 gallons, and a 55 gallon setup. They come with all the basics of what you need to start out a freshwater tank, except for the gravel and all the other stuff. You'd want to pick that out yourself, of course, but all of it at a good price. So get you started on the right foot. One of my personal favorite of the rainbows is the Celebes rainbows. Males get very striking long finage. The females still have dazzling colors as well. These guys don't get very large, so they'd be well suited for even as small as like a 20 gallon tank. Excellent community fish. We got in some awesome looking green tiger barbs this week. These guys have got great size, spectacular color. They do best if you keep them in groups of five or more to keep the aggression level down because they are very avid schoolers. An excellent addition for any semi-aggressive or large community tank. We got in some nice looking dojo loaches. These are excellent large scavenging fish that would do well with a large community tank. They will need a pretty good sized tank as well because these guys do exceed eight inches easily. We got in some really nice size Bozmani rainbows. I usually don't have this size available for sale. They look really nice. They were trade-ins. They look incredible. First come, first serve though. We don't have but seven. This is a South American leaf fish. This guy looks very docile but and very chill, but he's actually an ambush predator. He sort of look like a dead leaf until something swims by so he can eat it. He has a very large mouth that hinges halfway across his body on the underside. He's almost like a living Pac-Man. One of my favorite cichlids is any type of geophagus. These are redhead tapahoes. I lucked out and got these on a trade-in. They're really good size. Even though they're relatively large, they do best not with other South American cichlids this size, so much as with large barbs and stuff like that other fish that aren't going to tear them up because they are kind of gentle giants in comparison. We got in some adorable little calico lion heads. These are such cute little water piggies. They are adorable. Lion heads differ from regular arandas because they don't have a top fin making them a little more egg shaped and make them look more like a little piggy. We got in some really beautiful red and white sarasa comets. These guys would be so striking in any pond outside. All comets can get possibly up to about 10 inches to a foot long, so bear that in mind when figuring out accommodations for them. They do very well in even smaller ponds though. One of my favorite Mabuna cichlids, these are Kenyais. The Kenyais, when they're juveniles like this, are all gonna be blue. The males, as they get more mature, will be yellow with darker bars, and the female will stay the blue color of the juvenile. Whether if it's a male or a female, it's still going to be a very striking, really colorful fish, and a great addition to any African cichlid tank. 
got in a nice group of different colored locally raised angelfish. I've got in some beautiful silvers, some blacks, and some marbles. All of these guys are locally raised and put in isolation tanks to prevent them from catching the angelfish virus that goes rampant through most whole segments. We got some adorable little pencil fish in. These are a South American import still. They're wild caught, but they hold up extremely well in captivity. Really cute little nano fish. We got in some nice, big, beautiful cell fin mollies. These guys are going for about 20 bucks for a male and female pair. Really large live bears. Awesome fish in a large community tank. Hey guys, Hayden here, the reef tank manager. So recently we've gotten in a lot of corals and stuff. So cats forcing me to do this video, so we'll, let's go check them out. All right, so here we have a bunch of different types of zoanthids. They're personally one of my favorite corals. Very beginner friendly, low light, low flow. Um, some of them can be really quick growers. Some of them can take years to get to a decent size, but definitely come check them out. And here we have some uh, Ultra Acans. Very cool. Some of them can grow kind of close together. Um, what a lot of people do is they'll make a Acan rock. Very low light, up to medium, low flow. They do enjoy being fed about once a week to every couple weeks so yeah all right and here we have a very nice size decent color elegance the elegance are probably one of the most finicky corals out there in my opinion they require low light low flow super stable water chemistry anything goes wrong they like to just not exist anymore um, so this is definitely an expert coral. Alright, and here we have a bunch of different types of assorted mushrooms. These are also very beginner friendly. Get lots of color out of them. Grow decently fast. They don't really care about the light, but I prefer them medium. Super low flow. Very good colors on them. So if you're looking for a beginner coral, something that looks very cool, mushrooms definitely the one you want. All right, and here we have some nuclear death pallies. Me and Trevor just fragged these out. They are super quick growers, sometimes a little too quick, so you definitely want to put them on their own island. Um, they are actually very toxic, so anytime you handle them, you definitely want to wash your hands. Don't be licking your fingers. But we don't, we don't have very many, and I know you guys have been asking for them, so come get them while we got them, and they're only 10 bucks. All right, here we have a huge GSP rock that was brought into me last week. This is probably the my favorite beginner coral. Get out of the way, Barney. Super easy to care for. Very fast growers. You can actually put them on your back glass, and they'll kind of just take over the back glass. Kind of looks like grass, which is what a lot of people like about them. Super wavy. Throw them against the wall, put them back in the tank. They do not care. All right, here we have a bunch of different types of encrusted corals. Encrusted corals are also another finicky coral, not as hard as the elegance I've already mentioned. Um, high light, high flow, super stable water conditions. Make sure you do are dosing your cage and calcium and magnesium properly and testing for it. Another very cool coral if you know what you're doing. All right, here we have clove polyps super easy to care for low light low flow we've had these guys for a little while and every day they just keep getting better and better these guys do like to be fed every once in a while just with like some reefoids or something like that but another very easy to care for for very beginner friendly so i sold one of the vitamins in the time it's taken to get back to you but as you can see i've got some more so come by god bless have a great week and come see us Hey guys, Aiden here, the coral manager. So last couple days slash week, I've gotten in a lot of corals and stuff. No, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to say I. I'm gonna say we. Hey guys, Aiden here, the. <laughs> one of my favorite tanks that we sell here is the 110. When I have them in stock, and the 110 is a four foot by 18 foot. No. 
That would be a tractor trailer. Okay, this is like the 20th time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nope, nothing. Okay. But my favorite. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> realistically, 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 we have tried to shoot this one little video 27 times, and there has been something every single time. <laughs> so I'm gonna go try to do this again. No, you stay on that side, you all be quiet. And I'm gonna show you a 110 gallon fish tank. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't, okay. Why isn't it working now? I mean, this is gonna, this is not going to be the epic fail it looks like. Okay. You got this, boss man.